In this video, I'll show you how to make objects that players can pick up and move around in your VR chat world. We'll also make sure they work properly online using object sync so everyone can see it. So we are just leaving off exactly where we were last time with our chairs and mirror. If you haven't followed step by step every video, that's perfectly okay. They are independent of each other, but if I do something and I don't explain it in explicit detail, it's because we have already covered it one or more times. So be sure to go backwards if you seem lost on something like that. Overall, should be good for this video though. The first thing we're gonna need to do is have our project open. You can just use a default template or the one we have been using. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need is some kind of object we want to make throwable. Uh, this can be, if you don't already have an FBX you have in mind, that's perfectly okay. You can just use one of these default shapes so you can grab a cube and it'll work the same. We, however, are going to pull in a FBX. So here is also a refresher on how to do that a little bit. We want it to be in our assets. We are going to make a new folder to put these in. We'll call it row of bolts. And I'm going to make another folder. Pillows. All right. We have our pillow. We're going to pull in just a couple of these because we're not going to use everything. We're just going to pull in the normal map and the base texture. Now, it didn't auto flag this as a normal map. So we are just going to change it to a normal map. Okay, now we have our pillow. Let's go to it. add in let's create a material for it as it does not want to auto pull in our textures so we're going to call this full cushion material i think i had a typo in there but that's okay we put our normal color as all beta and our normal map as our normal map and we throw it on our pillow so far so good the next thing we need to do is to make the object grabbable or pick upable. So we need to add component and we need to type in pickup. It's VRC pickup. Now you'll see a lot of options here that we're not going to cover all of them right now. Uh, There's not really a reason to, but you can play with them if you'd like. We have, you know, use gravity, the mass, the drag, which is going to affect how it moves through the environment. Obviously, if you have gravity, it'll fall to the ground. And if you don't have gravity, it will float like it's in space. The mass and drag will affect how it moves through the air, sort of pseudo resistance. What we actually need to look at right now is inside our VRC pickup that we added, we are just going to make sure that it is pick upable. Is the most important checkbox here, otherwise none of this will work. But there are other things you might want to change, such as the, uh, basically the uh, speed of which it throws, and maybe disallow theft if you don't want people taking it out of other people's hands and how close you need to be to use it, the proximity, and of course you have your text. And if you just hover your mouse over these, you can get a little bit more info on what they do. But for the most part, it should be good to go as is. Now we're gonna need to add another uh, thing, which is we need a collider. So we're gonna add a box collider and set it as a trigger because we don't want the, the pillow to actually have a collider at the moment, we just want uh, it to be a trigger. Okay, so we need one more thing in order to make this work how we want it to, which is object sync. Object sync basically means uh, if one person picks it up or moves it, everyone in that lobby sees it being picked up and moved. Otherwise, it would only work for 
It would only be appearing to move for the person who actually touches it. For everybody else, it would still be in the default spot. So you may or may not want that depending on what you're trying to do, but in general, you probably will. So we're gonna type in VRC object sync. Now, one thing we also want is to allow coll a collision ownership transfer. Uh, basically, this means it'll change owners on collision or grabbing it. So those are the basic three things we need to add to every pickupable, which is a collider, the VRC pickup, and object sync. One thing we actually do need to change, I made a mistake here, is that we do not want our box collider to be a trigger at the moment. Uh, we'll mess with that another time. Just leave it as a regular box collider. Now we are good to go ahead and test this in our play mode. Now one thing I was talking about in some of my previous videos, which I was actually wrong about because things have definitely changed in the last couple years with uh, VR chat, is you can not actually do a full offline test of a lot of things where you used to be able to. So I'll show you how we get around that. But as you can see, we can actually pick it up and kind of throw it. I know it's hard to throw things in PC mode. And you might just be doing it wrong. But it is actually a throwable. And we can adjust those mass settings and all that good stuff. And if we actually take it over to the edge of the map and throw it off, it should respawn as well. So let's just chuck it into the void. And it is back where we needed it to be. So it respawns, it is throwable, pick up, all that good stuff. Now, like I was saying, you can't actually test a lot of the stuff, um, even though this one is a good example of it being able to be testable. What we need to do is actually go ahead and build our world again. And just kind of uh, build it and then we can actually test it in VR chat. That's the only way to get full testing, especially with custom avatars and some more complicated features we're going to get into is we have to fully build and you can see here I don't have good internet and this didn't take long so it shouldn't be much of an issue. But once we upload our changes, which is what we're doing right here, we can launch VR chat like you normally would. All right, now that we are in VR chat, this is just my default load world. We can go to worlds and click on my worlds and uploaded. And we can go to this one matches our chairs. So we're gonna go check it out. And you can see it's only 11 megs, which is super small, even though our leather chair alone was over 100 megs. It does a good job compressing your files when you actually build them. All right, so here we are. And as we can see, we are actually, uh, you know, using our avatar and we can actually test. So here's their the default chair, which doesn't actually work very well. And then the one we built, which you can see that the transform needs to be adjusted a little bit, but otherwise it still works pretty good. And then we have our throwable. Cool. Works as intended. So you can see in the offline mode, it didn't really throw very well. And this is what I was saying is things aren't gonna always work as expected inside the editor we need to test it in the online mode to see how well it actually works and that can be in a private instance there's no problem with that but it works exactly as intended and we can see what our different text here is too the first one is the hold to grab and then we have our options 
so we can change those via the settings as well, like we examined. But there's one thing we haven't tested that we implemented, and we want to make sure that works, which is the object sync. Right now, there's only one person, so it's hard to tell. So we need to test with two people. So let's do that. In order to do that, we have to go back to our editor. And when we actually build and test, we were going to want two clients instead of one. This will simulate having two connected players inside our offline mode. And again, this doesn't, doesn't seem to work as good as it used to, but it'll work for this. All right, so we are on our first client and we can see our second client. So I have moved it on my first, which means if I swap over to my second client, we should see it where our first client is. So this is how you make sure everything is networked properly. And in Unity and especially VR chat, this is so much easier than an Unreal Engine. So be very happy that this is all you have to do to get uh, object sync and network sync to work because this is a lifesaver, honestly. But you can see everything with a throwable is now working as expected. We can go ahead and close out of our clients. We are done here and we can go back to our editor. You can repeat this process for literally any kind of object you want to be throwable. But if you're looking for a bunch of throwable objects, I'm going to have a collection of objects such as pillows and other common throwables available on my Patreon. Since this channel is not monetized, Patreon is the main way I keep making videos and content for you guys. I really do appreciate all of you who subscribe to that, and it is a great resource to have everything just drag and drop ready into your project. All of these are going to be set up inside the project files, or you can just grab the FBXs and implement them on your own. I'm going to do it both ways. So you can pull the entire project and mess with it that way. So where everything's already set up to be used, or you can just implement the FBXs. Now I'm not the model of most, or not the, <laughs> not the author of most of these models. I'm just packaging them and making them easily accessible for VR chat. I want to make that known because people get mad if I say I, I'm not trying to claim I'm the guy who modeled these pillows. I'm not. I'm just repackaging them for use in Unity and it's specifically VR chat. Well, that does bring us to the end of the video. If this helped you, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more VR chat world tutorials. You guys are great. I really appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.